Hello again, I'm Rob. Welcome back to our series of virtual walks with me and Edith, the miniature schnauzer. Today we have a 10 minute extract from a walk in early May at Half Moon Common. Come and join us. But first... We've started off walking up now to a wooded area. The trees here are mainly pine trees and silver birch with patches of holly bushes dotted around. The silver birch isn't native to this forest so the trees are cut down from time to time. The wood isn't great though so not worth much. This is the first time that Edith has been here since February so there's lots of sniffing to catch up on. We're coming now to an open area, following the path. The brown foliage that you can see on both sides of the path is last year's bracken, which has died back. If you look closely, you can see that this year's new bracken is growing through, and it grows really quickly. Here you can see a comparison. We walked along here last July when the bracken was pretty well fully grown. You can see the difference between early May now and early July last year. Edith remembers the way. Notice the big open area on our right. Remember that for later. We're coming out now into an open area which is on lower ground. This gets very wet in the winter, but it's dried out nicely now. Edith wants a game. I can see you. I can see you. The weather has been mainly dry and sunny since our lockdown began seven weeks ago. We're at the lowest point of Half Moon Common now and there's still some muddy parts as you can see here. Edith doesn't care about the mud. On our left hand side now you can see a fence and beyond that new trees have been planted to replace those that have been felled for wood in previous years.
Turning back towards our start point now, we'll follow the path up to a small wood. We're coming out into the open ground now. A few years ago this whole area on our right was full of mature pine trees. They were all felled one summer and completely changed the landscape. This is all part of forestry management and the trees that are lost are replaced with young trees to grow on. The trees that we're approaching now are all that is left of the pine woods which used to cover the whole area. I hope that you've been able to pick up some of the bird song. It really is fantastic at this time of year. We're coming back into open ground now and we can see a pile of logs in front of us. These aren't pine logs, these are silver birch trees that were cut down last winter. Silver birch is the tree equivalent of weeds in this forest and they need to be kept under control. We can see our car in front of us now, which means that this is the end of our walk. It took 10 minutes to watch the video, but it actually took Edith and me an hour to walk it. Edith hopes that you've enjoyed following her. She'd be even more pleased if you subscribed to our channel. Thanks for watching.